Hey, up. Right, no. <laughs> Wrong one. You don't want to do that? No. <laughs> don't want to do that. Hello, everybody. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? Mrs. Talk, I made it at the start. Aye, exactly. Um, go, go having a private Illuminati conversation, which if you're part of the Illuminati, you would have heard crystal clear. If not, oh well. Um, urban Exploration um, is getting banned on YouTube. Keep saying Urban Camo. So, um, yeah. How are we all uh, on Friday? Days. There's Ben in with the days. Fergal's on the Facebooks. Stuart, it's the Waltons are all in. Mark, uh, Mark Hayden. Good afternoon. James Wilson. Ray Err. Ray is just her. Uh, so, yeah. Tony, Chris, David. So what am I watching? The best thing on TV since Afterlife. That's what you're watching. What's Afterlife? I don't even know if it was ever on TV. Oh, yeah. I watched Afterlife. No. Ricky Gervais. No. It's really good. Yeah. No. Really good. Really fun. Yeah. So, uh, Cam Brown is in... Uh, nice slicers is saying top o the morning. Top o the morning. O the morning when it's the afternoon. Well, it's oh. the top of the morning. That's top o the morning somewhere. Is top? Do you think the start of the morning or is top the end of the morning? Top of the morning is nothing that any Irish person actually says, ever. <laughs> have you? <laughs> but honestly, have you it's ever, good. ever, ever? been anywhere on the whole island of Ireland where a genuine Irish person goes top of the morning to you no can I confirm that you won the euro the other day did you get an email to say you have won if you didn't get an email then you didn't win that's usually the way it happens so I won the lottery and I'm still complaining with them you know so like just say I didn't enter but that's just here nor there what's uh, the crack We've all Wrong spelling of crack, Virgo. Come on. Paddy, Paddy says it. Nice slicers saying Paddy says it. Father Ted says it, apparently. When? I don't remember. Ted he said it seven times. <laughs> Aye. But in context, all right? In, yes, in Virgo, in crack. Context. There we are. So, there we are. See all you English ones coming over here, taking our jobs or women on our banter and crack. It's just not on. And did you hear? You like this because it's football related. Okay. Me and football is just it's like you know, like me hooking up with uh, like an anti gunner. Never gonna happen. Don't say vegetarians and humble. Well, uh, vegetarians exactly as well. But apparently, the English are at it again. They're at it again. They're at it again. Oh dear. The English. The old now, English this, this is the only bit I know about football because I heard it on the radio yesterday, uh -huh. and I'm using it everywhere I can. Apparently, the English. Are taking our song, ah, yeah. the Northern yeah, Ireland song. Yeah, that's of, something we need to. Of, that's something uh, we need to talk about. Sweet Caroline. Um, that the, is the unofficial anthem for Northern of the Army. Green and White Army, and that's that from like two thousand and five. Yeah. Oh yet, yeah. That's, some some yeah. English DJ when they were playing Germany says, "Oh, this is England have adopted this, and it's English." It's like, no, Not son, happening. no, coming over here taking our songs, and then another thing. Somebody in England turned around and said, to take away our songs. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, somebody in England turned around and said that if England win, uh -huh. they want the 12th of July to be a national holiday. There's a like, Kyle on here. So you're coming over here, taking our songs and our holidays. That's not working. The 12th is only a holiday in Northern Ireland. And no matter what side of the divide you're on, you still take the 12th off because it's a free day off. I bet you, do you know what though? I bet you they don't sing in Sweet Caroline the way we do. I don't know Sweet what way you do it. Sweet so. Caroline, but fast wine. <laughs> I didn't know that. You ever know that? No, I didn't know that. I thought you'd sing it. Uh, but yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Was the green light of Wembley one of yours? Uh, no idea. Uh, no, don't be wrong. Ben's uh, talking about fake news. I don't know what that's about. <sighs> Uh, I don't want your crack, thanks very much. Good. Yeah, football. Yeah, exactly. So, um, Glenda. You're Glenda. Very, very welcome. You're very welcome. He came in with a smile on his face today saying, I sorted Glenda out. I was like, fair play to you. 
So, uh, yeah, the balls apparently are taking Welsh songs as well. That's, that's not all. That's football colonialism. Come on. It's just, just disgraceful. And oh. yet they're trying to force everybody to like England and support England. It's just not happening. That's such a classic screenshot that we kind of got there. <laughs> so, um, bad Uncle Bob loves Buckfast, apparently. You. You can keep that song, please sing Guinness and Said. No, 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 you're grand. So, um, but there we go. So that's, that's all the football related stuff. Speaking of football, so I'll pass you over to my colleague who will let you know do you what's think? coming up. Do you think? Well, <laughs> the thing. So, Sean, can you uh, fill us in on the foot of the balls? Thanks very much for having me here today, Tom. <laughs> um, I have just like to say that. Obviously, thanks very much to everyone who's been joining in on our blog giveaways for the football. Um, we just we started the first one. We didn't know what way it would go. Um, but to be honest, it's been really popular uh, and it's been quite good fun. Um, the giveaway's been really good. Uh, we are doing one for the final. And let me tell you, I think it should be going out later today. You do not want to miss this one. It is huge. Mahusa. And I mean huge. Ma I told him earlier what the prizes were and his reply was, you can't be serious. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even be doing that. Um, so, yeah, they yes, are, they are keep an eye out for that on the blog. It's good. Share it, please. Get your friends involved. Get your family involved. And the thing is, to comment, you have to register an account. If, yes. you, if you aren't already with us, you have to register an account. So if you register that account, you're getting a free I3E. Yeah, that's just thrown under your basket. And as you can just check out, pay four ninety five for your shipping. Um, so, you know, it's all win-win. And there's still offers on there for bandanas and all that crack. Um, just while we're here, again, make sure you are um, all our YouTube buddies. Make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel. Uh, make sure you hit the like button on this video just to be able to share it out to as many people as possible. And uh, for all those who are watching at the minute, um, please hit the like button and um, we will get... All the bits and pieces done. Absolutely. There's going to be more giveaways coming up on YouTube as well. Yeah. Um, shortly, so. You know, Buckfast apparently is made in Devon, according to him. Jeez. Right? I thought it was I made know. in Lurgan. Lurgan? Yeah. That's probably just know, drank the just, most in Lurgan. Just, nah, sorry, that's, that's not, it's not a national water. beverage of Lurgan. Yeah, it's not a water. Do you know, do you know I'm, not, no, I'm not joking. Whenever I was at college, I... Uh, you went to college. I did go to college. I... Uh, a guy in my class was from Lurgan and he worked in a nightclub there. I'm so sorry. I, and he told me <laughs> their two most popular drinks was pints of Buckfast, because they had it on tap over ice, and Bucky Bombs, Bucky. which was shots of Buckfast with Red Bull. That was their biggest selling drinks in the nightclub in Lurgan. I thought I was just doing it in Lurgan primary schools, probably. You know, it's just it's Lurgan. Instead of a suki. Bucky. <laughs> have a Bucky. Have a Bucky. <laughs> Bucky Ice Lollies. Uh, you know. Free x r for everyone in England. Why would we do that? Um, so, no. We're not definitely not doing that. So, um, just someone's wanting a free next x r <laughs> for everyone in England. Away on. Ah. <laughs> That's not a good one. Just, ah. <laughs> uh, so, apparently the biggest buyers of Bucky are... Um, Scottish? Mm. I don't know. Mm. I'd say the ones in Lurgan would like give you guys a run for your money. I'd say Lurgan v Glasgow. That would be a... That one, aye. Yeah. That would be a sight to see. I uh, got my parent too. Absolutely fantastic. Parent nice one. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. Nice line. one. All about that run thing. Books fast on tap. Sounds magic. To Chris Sounds Hughes. magic. <laughs> Sounds magic. <laughs> oh, so Chris. You'd want to have it at like one of their restaurants where they give you free refills. <laughs> I remember uh, a friend of mine, or you know, I'm sorry, a friend of mine, Jamie was telling me, um, yes. uh, he used to manage a wine mart, and um, there was that whole craze where on the bottle, bottom of the Buckfast bottles, they had a number, right. and apparently the lower the number, was the sweeter the Bucky, <laughs> right? It had a different taste than the higher the number, right? Okay. So he had like number one was the one you wanted to get. It was total nonsense. Was just like it was just total nonsense. It was total propaganda. But made by monks. They, uh, the, Jimmy said in uh, Wine Mart, they used to come in. People used to come in and like start rifling through it and like breaking bottles 
to just get, to get these, another one. So they had to end up moving them, you know, behind the till. So then that's why you see them now behind the till. Right. Uh, nice slicers says, I take it you don't like Osbrets. Hey, we're friendly to all. It's, aye. It's just, you know, it's just the English. Never said anything bad about the Scottish or Welsh. <laughs> See, honestly, right, I have, I have to bring this up. See, in our Facebook group, go ahead and join it as well, because we are doing a 6,000 uh, member giveaway on that as well. We're there in there? Like, are we there? I think well, last if, night if you haven't joined in, off. hurry up and join in before we draw. Yeah. Um, if people don't understand having the crack at all, and to be honest, it is, it is primarily English people that don't get this. Um, this idea of forcing people to like England and to support England, that's not happening. And um, if you can't have the crack with us, and it's me putting the comments up going hashtag anyone but England, then if you can't see that we're having a bit of fun with you, then you really need to either just get off Facebook completely and go and sit in a dark cupboard somewhere. Because uh, if you don't understand having a bit of crack with people, then there's something yeah. desperately wrong. It is. It's a bit of fun. You know what I mean? It's a bit of fun. It's a bit of fun. Like, seriously. You know, and I, and like, do you know what? It's, it's, um, it, and I, I honestly, I really don't care. I think that when, whoop de do. I, I don't care. If they don't win, fantastic. You know, <laughs> it's whatever. It's only a bit of crack. So, like, chill out and uh, just, just get on with it. Just don't be sectarian, right? No sectarianism. No, no racial do slurs. We don't do any that. of that crack. We will send the boys round, okay? Because we do know where you live. The boys from both sides. <laughs> <laughs> we have a multicultural selection of the boys. <laughs> I'm from England, and live is about, yeah. Love yeah, the exactly. banter. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, if you can't have a laugh, well, it isn't personal. It, it's just it isn't. And do you know what I don't get? Right, I don't. And this is not with football. This is everything. Right. You know what you do get? Well, senior citizen bus pass. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, that Sorry. allows you free travel. Go ahead. <laughs> what I don't get is when people like talking about football and they say, you know, or even any sport, you know, it's like, oh, good luck tonight, you know, and like, oh, yeah, thanks very much. Like, You're not playing! <laughs> yeah. You're not yeah, okay. playing! Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. Oh, they, oh, we were home last night, it was a tough game last night, you know how we got on going. <laughs> you weren't playing! <laughs> you were sitting on the sofa drinking Buckfast! <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, come on! Uh, uh, amazing. I don't mind English. It's the English media. Grand. Northern Irish. Uh, Northern Irish, Irish. We all have a bit of crack. Exactly. We all have a, it's only a yeah. bit of crack. So it's like, aye, just chill out. So, uh, but yeah. At least the teams have been acting like professionals. I have no idea. Oh, I did uh, see. I was it the Italy game? I think he's being sarcastic. Is he? I don't know. Maybe he's not well, being sarcastic. Craig, if you're being sarcastic, you need to work on your sarcasm skills. I know it's hard to come across some text. I but, mean, but then you just put two dots. Yes. Because then it's like, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. The, uh, was it the Italians? Again, go with me. Um, was it the Italians that had, there was some fella like fell down in the box and like he was rolling around like his, his leg was ripped off. Right. Um, but the referee was like, you know, carry on. And then his mate scored. And he just jumps up with, oh, God, yeah. hey! You know, that's just like, that happens uh, quite a lot. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's just like, yeah, that's, I think they go to acting schools before they go training for football. Aye. I so. mean, it's, that's the, that is the, 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 the worst part of football, in my opinion, is the dramatics. And oh, yeah, the, I'm the worried about, softness to it. worried about their hair. Aye. So that, that's the worst bit. Um, Bored now. Bye. See you later, Tim. Thanks for being here. Bye, Tim. Don't feel you have to come back if you don't want to. Bye. Um, See, sarcasm. Yeah, exactly. Um, don't focus on... We all can focus on United banter between English and the French. Uh, between UK and French. Yes, we can. 100%. So. Anyway, let's get on with it. Torches. This is a torch. Uh, allegedly, show. this is a torch show. Do you know what? When I was out, um, I might share this video on Facebook later on um, I was out the other night in the car going up our lane and uh, lo and behold so two wee figures on the, on our driveway and I was going what is it on 
and uh, popped out a torch and had a wee nosy and it was badgers so I had lovely um, two gorgeous badgers uh, going up our lane and the same help I got like right very very close to them came up towards the car um, so they were, seemed really nice really healthy but I thought you know for some sort of torches for like watching wildlife like it's getting dark in our place anyway it's dark dark you know there's no uh, light pollution all that crack so I thought what sort of lights and um, to have for looking at wildlife or trying to spot wildlife and one uh, one I love so compact was the uh, Warrior X Turbo. Mm -hmm. uh, Warrior X Turbo is such an underrated uh, light. You know, you see that it's just a small light in the size of your hand, but the throw on that is absolutely crazy. Uh, it's just a, a gorgeous wee light. It takes a 2700 battery. And uh, it's just one that I think that everybody should have like in their uh, in their EDC and like their you know, their vehicle kit if you're gonna do a wee bit of um, nature spotting or whatever and um, that the the Warrior X Turbo is, is in there. Now we did bring them out, remember we had brought them out and um, some variations as well. So we did do the Desert Tan and the uh, Gum Metal Grey. So they're sets of lights which i think they're, they're fantastic gun metal gray is just amazing oh i love gun metal gray so um it's 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 just a cool light um so they these are brilliant they now they don't have a side switch on them there is just a, a basic um rear switch which does take like the rod seven um style of light uh, so <laughs> Just, just do all the bits on my laptop. Thank you very much. I love so, it because they can't see what's happening. Exactly. We have a thousand meter throw on this thing, so you don't have the um, the side button, but you do have just a basic half press on the top, and um, that will give you your low mode, and then a full front press that will give you your uh, your turbo or your high mode. Um, so I can do like a wee half press there, and that will let go, and that's on our low mode and then say a full press for um, turbo uh, for the high mode on that and uh, it's just it's a nice wee light comes with a nice wee holster as well you have i believe the uh, rings on that you can change out as well to um the rubberized ones i think they came in that as well didn't they uh the tgrs the yeah TGRs. i believe they did yeah so um and you have a pocket clip there and i said pocket clip you're not going to use it on our pocket but you could put a lanyard er, through sorry there. do you know what it is tgr from the Warriors Pro fits it as well. If oh, you have one, yeah, I, sure, I did that the other day actually. Make sure you put it around the right way around, or you'll screw it around. Yeah, but that is a, it's a nice wee light. It's a it's a good light for for a throw light as well. I just think they're a class um, light. You've got what uh, on the low setting, you have twelve and a half hours runtime on that. That's brilliant. Which is, is crazy. Twenty one seven hundred battery. Uh, your lumens wise is um, eleven hundred. 1100 lumens on uh, your highest setting, which is pretty cool. Um, your low mode is um, 150 lumens, and you get that for 12 and a half hours. But again, as I said, these guys, I keep telling you, it's not all about lumens. No. Like, there's the half press. You have a very, you might not be able to pick this up on the camera at all, but you can probably see you have a very low spill, but you still have a decent hot spot. Yeah. Um, I would use that say if you're if you're say going to a hide or a, a nature hide or something or you're just walking up and then when you need to just do a full press and you really do have a, a tighter um, brighter hot spot and so you've still got that spill so you can yeah. see further around you as well yeah. um, they're just just such a, a cracking wee light if you're if you're looking at the the Warrior X Pro and you're going but the Warrior X Pro is 2100 lumens how come it's not as you know doesn't throw as far and stuff? Yeah, and that that's because of the design on this head. Whenever they brought, they made this. You know the the deep set LED in that and that smooth reflector, like that big reflector. That's where you're getting your distance from, and that's why it doesn't need to be as bright yeah. to get that through. And it's fantastic. Like it's, it's, it's a, really it's cool. Cracking, and it's it's just weird the way lights work and how it just bounces around there. But uh, so that deep when you see anything with a deep set LED, that means you're going to get a throw light. Um, anything that's set further high up the light, so 
Uh, well, we'll just show you. This is yeah. one here. Mm-hmm. The likes of an M2R. Um, an M2R, you can see the, the LED is further up in the head. You do get some throw on that. It's like, you know, 150 meters or something out there, maybe more. Um, so you do get that, but um, not as much. But we're all going desert tan today for some reason. Here's the uh, Warrior X uh, Turbo and the Warrior X Pro. And you can see the differences even in the size of the bezel. Yeah. And uh, let's try and get that for YouTube as well. Mm-hmm. Look at the size difference for the size of the bezel and the size of the head on that. LEDs, I would say, are set pretty much the same depth ish, you know, ish. But um, that 560 meter throw, yeah. I believe, on the Warrior X yeah. uh, Pro and then the Turbo. But it's, a, it's, it's what you want to have. You know, it's just they're both cracking light. It's just that does give you an extra punch, and I do love the runtime on that. Um, but that's that's what I like about them. Um, such a great wee light. So, and these guys see, like see the amount of uh, like text from the ambulance and, and stunt powers and stuff like that that use the parent. Yeah, I'm always getting that comments going. I, I work for the ambulance and uh, and I use a parent. Use a parent Brilliant. Um, to find addresses in the dark and get a bit of light in the scene. Yeah, there was um, a friend of ours who had he's a uh, an ambulance service. He's a paramedic, and he was on uh, just an ambulance, not out in a, in a car. And I can't remember was that a stabbing or something. He was at in like Liverpool or somewhere. And you know what the Liverpool publicans are like wild for stabbing. <laughs> I can careful. My sister in law is from there, so it's okay. I can slag the whole lot of them off. Um, but the <laughs> it's only a joke. Yes. Um, he used it and um, for scene lighting, and ended up getting it like confiscated um, because it was like he accidentally left it in the, on the scene when they had to do all the yes. um, CSI guys came. But he does think maybe some peeler just pocketed it. Went, oh, shiny. Absolutely. So, but you can say um, the amount of guys I know, uh, farming and like even during lambing season, and all yeah. sticking next to the parent on the side of a, a cattle pen or something or a sheep pen, um, for just an area light. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant, really good. Um, can we get some love for the Italians here? Of course, all day. Viva le Italia. Do we I not? Las Vegas. I'm still a bit sorry about Italian, aren't they? You weren't even born, like. But uh, I like that way. Yeah. I, I really like that yes. Um Right, so everyone, hi, Warriors Turbo, excellent flashlight. Uh, use my local search and rescue. Yes, Patrick, yeah, Warrior X Turbo, cracking light. Good man. Cracking light. 300 meters, uh, Warrior X, uh, into our pro. I'm a first responder and use a parent, yeah. Brilliant. See, uh, there is so much, and you can use it on um, ClickFast as well. So we're saying that we don't use a ClickFast mount. Go to ClickFast and buy it. You can get the diameter of the um, torches for the body um, on our website and then just match that up with the diameter of your click fast. Yeah. I'm assuming they just do different, um, you'll have like a generic It is. Round. It's generic and you unscrew and they go up, it goes up and down, you know. Yeah. So it just pinches it. That's all it does. Exactly. I've used mine on the MTR, the Seeker 2 Pro, more X Pro, more X Turbo and, you know, it's great. And uh, a baton, STR baton. So yeah. it goes as thin to as thick as that. So um, it should go more as well. It should do, yes. It should but but it's good it's it's the click fast stuff, it's just it's it's done, you know. It's, it's That's done. it. You know, we've been asked before, will you make it? And it's like Just go and buy it. We know it like makes good stuff, but that's been done, you know. You can't yeah, reinvent I, the I, wheel. I don't it's see like, I don't see how you good can enough. improve on that. You know, it's good enough. Yeah, uh, I'm from near Liverpool, nearest thing to Ireland you can get. Uh, lots of love Irish here. Scouts are mainly Irish. I, yeah, mm. exactly. Um, we're not going to go into a rendition of Fairy a Customizzi. You're very right. We don't. We aren't. I will. Um, so, um, all right, calm down. You see, you don't get this at all. There's the, <laughs> there's the, who was it? Um, it wasn't like Harry Enfield and Chums or whatever that did like the three Scousers, the brothers. Please tell me anybody in the, on YouTube or Facebook you remember the three Scouse brothers. Um, that has just been fantastic. 
Uh, all I have to do is retractable, retractable lanyard to stop expensive things going walkies. Unless you're going to do it, but again, that sort of stuff has been done. That's braided stuff with wire. Um, I do know you can get like retention lanyards for pistols that the police use. Uh, well, predominantly over here. Um, but you do have Harry Enfield, yeah. Um, so. Yeah, no, a couple of other guys use them as well. And you can have the them because they are, they're braided, they have wire through them as well. So there's anti theft stuff on that there, um, which isn't going to be as easy to rip and break as like a normal retractable lanyard, um, which is just designed for keys, but people put really heavy stuff on it. Yeah. What do you do? Rob, bottle pound two. Nice one, Rob. Glad you're enjoying it. Paul, any gunmetal grey lights for sale currently? I don't coming think. Coming soon, lads. I would love to see something new coming on gunmetal grey. more gunmetal grey. I really would. Um, yeah, I would love to see it. I would love, like... Just bread. Oh, bread. Yes, I remember bread as what? well. But that's just going. You youngsters wouldn't remember bread. So. Gareth, nice one. Keep the collection going. Uh, on YouTube, have you thought about doing a glow in the dark body or something on light to help find it in the dark? The S2As yeah. were glow in the dark. I would like to see more. Um, I, I, that. that was a really neat feature. Like that I was, was such that a was... clan. Do we have? I don't, I don't I don't see, we, we were talking about it another week. I think we gave. Do we give one them all away? Well, we did give ones away, but I haven't really got them handy. <sighs> but the S2As are cracking wee light. Yeah. Non rechargeable, awesome. but. Um, you know that that's just the way they are. Uh, bread was awesome. Yes, bread. So you need to go up on on, on the YouTube. So I'm down. Um, I'm off bread. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> Paul on Facebook cut the pocket clip off his pen so it now fits into the pen mini patch. Your torch. You do with it what you want. I like to hear people trying different things. So that's Aye. Great there cut, is your torch. You've no. I'm just you've cut, spent the money. I cut the pocket clip off my right. pen and put it in. I'm wondering how that, uh, how's it working out for you? Really? You know, just well, the problem is it won't go in because at the end of the pocket clip's thick. Yeah. Or fat. So I'm just thinking how, I, I don't know. I say how would I try, unless it did do, how would I try with the pliers first, squishing the pliers instead of cutting it? No, but I think it's too wide. Right. That makes that sense because you know yeah, the pocket yeah. clip narrows, I think. Nice slicers. I must, it must be all the old fogies like me on YouTube. So, no pocket clip now. Because we're all like getting into the bread and all that crack here, so. Right. Um, but yeah, oh, with that, me. I was going to do, because we haven't done it in a while, um, and I will show it when I get it, um, but uh, we're going to do like a, a wee pocket dump um, style carry. So I want you guys like, to put in um, comments on YouTube and Facebook what you're carrying. So day-to-day -day carry is summertime. I'm always, I, I sort of go kit heavy if I'm wearing jeans. I go kit heavy all the time. If I'm wearing shorts, as, as minimum as I can get away with. Mm. Really, as minimum as I can get away with. Because I don't like, I know you're a fan of little cargo pockets as well. Yeah, I like my, but I, I I like my shorts. Because I just don't like them, you know, just mm. too much weight on your legs. Yeah, yeah. It just yeah. seems weird for me. Um, but what I carry in, as always, uh, Leatherman Wave. So we'll just show you a wee pocket dump uh, what we've got going on. So Leatherman Wave is my go-to um, for a multi-tool. Um, I love Leatherman products. Um, I just love their whole, just everything about them. 25 year warranty. They're built to last. Uh, they're just 25 such, year? 25 year warranty. Seriously? Yeah. And like, I will say this, I am actually, a Sending back a Leatherman Juice S2, which I have, which uh, a bit popped off. I don't know how it popped off, but I have total confidence in Leatherman's warranty that they will either fix it or replace it. It's so easy. 25 year warranty. Now, when I'm thinking about 25 years, sure, that's a lifetime. I have had this one for over 10 years. No way. Oh, uh, no, maybe more than 10 years. Hold on. What age is my dad? I've had this 14 years. I bought one for my dad when he turned 60 and uh, got his name engraved on it and I bought myself one as well and got my name engraved on it. So I've had that 14 years. Wow. And there's never missed a beat. Really never missed a beat. So 
Um, yeah, according to me around your ankles, man, kit heavy. John, you are 100% right, son. Can't be having that, John. Um, for, again, pen-wise, I don't even have another one. I wanted to show it to you, um, just to be realistic. Where's my... No, I'm not bothered with it. The pencil that I use, a mechanical pencil I use as well, which I like to write with, but for using a pen, it ha obviously has to be an O-pen. I do change the um, ink out because I found... I just like... Um, I tried the Smith uh, refills in it. And I tried them and